everyone. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Natasha and I'm on a health, wellness, and fitness journey. Um, I also love going on vacations and adventures and trying to see new things. Um, always going to parks and stuff in my area, but I actually just got back from a trip recently to Philadelphia and Baltimore. So I'm going to kind of take you along on what I saw there and what adventures I got up to and uh, hope you enjoy. So the first day I was there, we, me and my mom went for a walk around the harbor. Didn't go to the aquarium or anything like that because I'd been there when I was a child. Um, we just kind of walked all over the place. Nine miles in apparently, according to my phone. Besides just the harbor, we went through like Little Italy and also into uh, Fells Point. Just kind of explored and looked around. Um, the next day we went to an arboretum, um, which was the Kleinburn Arboretum, um, and looked around. There was so many bees on this purple plant. Um, they were just having a great time. Um, I was surprised that there were still flowers there that late, but there was. There was also a bamboo forest which was fun to go into. Um, a little not as happy about its existence because of it's an invasive plant, but it was fun. You felt like you were going to another land when you looked in it and were going inside of it. Um, but. But I guess it was an arboretum and so it was maintained on purpose and so they wouldn't let it spread. But it is an invasive and we saw it all over the place and various other places too that didn't look maintained. Then we went to the flag house um, and learned all about the creation of the flag that was flown over Fort McHenry um, and just all of that history in general, um, how that creation was, that flag you see in the background is the size of the flag that was flying in above um, that inspired the Francis Scott Key song, which turned into the national anthem. Um, they have this interesting uh, rock feature that was the United States, and apparently the, the granite that was from, uh, in the shape of Texas, was from Texas. Um, this is the inside of the house. Um, the most interesting thing I think is the toilet, which you're about to see. They had like little chamber pot seats that you could actually sit in. So it was like better than just squatting over a chamber pot. Um, didn't know those existed until this trip. Uh, yeah, just kind of nice scene, kind of old history. We also went to the art museum. Um, and walked around, they had a renaissance exhibit, which is what this is. And then we also saw the little Washington Monument and statue out there. And then we went to Rockwood, which was a historical house in Delaware. It um, actually has a connection to Ireland. One of the daughters that ended up moving back here and living out the rest of her life um, lived in a castle over there, which apparently is a ruins. So who knows? Maybe Nikki and Gia saw it. Um, but it was a really cool old house. Uh, we got a, essentially a private tour, which was fun. Um, and it was just, it was interesting to kind of see all of the things that were, were in there. It, was, it had a lot of history. Um, there was a wedding that was apparently going to be happening in, in the um, carriage house area. Um, so we saw them taking photos and stuff like that, which was kind of cute. And it was just a really pretty nature area. We were going to go to a different one, a different like old historical house that had like very, very maintained gardens. This is more like a natural area. Um, 
but they were closed for decorating for Christmas. Uh, so we went to this one instead, but it was also very lovely. Then we went to Valley Forge um, and walked around, saw the different different houses, with the entire loop um, area to see it all. Washington stayed while at Valley Forge The next day we went to, to Philadelphia. We obviously went to Independence Hall and saw the Liberty Bell in Independence Square. I didn't get much of the inside because they were giving the tour, but it was very, very well done and interesting. We also went to Alfred's Alley, which is one the most, um, I think it's the longest residential street in the country um, that's had continual residence. Uh, it's really cute and very old fashioned still. Um, it was just kind of transported you back, back in time. Um, so people still live in all of these houses and they are maintained. There is a museum, but that was closed that day. Um, so we just kind of walked around, which you're allowed to do, and and looked at the outside of the houses, the old, you know, well pump, um, and little alley where where people used to live. Um, we also saw Betsy Ross's house um, in Philadelphia, which is another famous flag maker. We went to the uh, a museum there about the Revolution. It was just really nice walking through all of the history. Um, <laughs> Well, there's history in Texas where I live. It feels very strip molly and stuff like that. Um, so then also my parents uh, have this map that I gave them, um, which is you put photos in for each state that you've been to. So because we were so close to New Jersey, we had to find something to do in New Jersey. So it counted as we have visited New Jersey they can take a photo to have a spot to put in their map. Um, so trying to find things to do in New Jersey that were actually open that day and the time that we were trying to get over there. Um, and there wasn't much that I could find that was actually like open to do. Um, so we ended up walking around Princeton, um, which I also enjoyed. Um, there's just, again, the architecture is very interesting and kind of breathtaking. I don't see that very frequently around my everyday life. Um, so it was very pretty. Uh, it kind of made me feel like I was at Hogwarts. Uh, From Princeton we drove over to Hopewell Furnace uh, but on the way we ended up finding this like tiny little town that was like right along the creek and a bunch of like old shops and stuff and so we stopped and had to go look at the water uh, it sounded like there was like a full-on waterfall but it was it was more just a big riffles and uh, boulders in the river but it was still very pretty we kind of did a little walk along there and then to some of the shops then we made it to Hopewell Furnace which uh, was a forge um, that existed. They would make their own charcoal back in the day and still do in this large pit area. Um, they needed so much charcoal in order to keep the furnace running to be able to produce any ironwork stuff. Um, and they still do it, I think it's like twice a year and they're about to do it. But the, you can see there's a little remnant of charcoal from when they're doing it and this is all of their own homemade charcoal that they make on the property which is impressive but also depressing because of how much wood it takes to do that um and then this is the actual forge right there which you would open up to get the iron to come out and where they do all the castings um and then they still have the water wheel which is very fun. 
Um, it still works. It still moves. Um, it's it's just I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I love a good water wheel. Um, and I haven't seen many in my lifetime in person, and I got to see one. Just really cool. Um, they had like all the houses and stuff. Um, and we were able to walk around and look at uh, the woods, which was great. Um, I did get a tick on me, which is unfortunate, but I found it very quickly. So, <laughs> yay, I survived. Um, I hate ticks, but I love the woods. But I hate ticks. So, um, it was overall a great trip. Got lots of steps in, mostly that first day that I was there and me and my mom and she were just like, I just wanna go explore. I just wanna go walk around. My dad was doing some conferency things and I'm just like, well, he doesn't usually walk super far. So let's just go explore. We don't need to take a taxi. We can just go. And we did. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have a favorite thing. It was all very nice to see just a bunch of history, get out in nature some still. Um, and then see just like cool architecture and stuff. Um, I don't know it's just it's just nice to see history and architecture and something different uh i i enjoy the the character of just like older towns and older homes and things like that like even going through like texas and stuff like anytime you have like a time a town square i don't know it's just it's just so cute picture so i just it yeah i just enjoy having the character versus some of the more modern strip mall-esque situations that it feels like it is um it was a lovely trip i hope you enjoyed seeing that um if you ever have any suggestions of things to do um in places let me know um i'm always looking for new adventures i don't know when i'll get to make there i know i'm going to be going to san antonio sometime in the near future and then i don't know we'll see we'll see where things take me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a good day and enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, leave a comment, all of the YouTube things, you know, to help the algorithm. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I hope you stick around and come back for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.